All right, guys, this is a real quick walkthrough for your performance task uh, for credit four. Uh, this is going to be basically the same as what you did for the day five, which is creating a budget, it's just, you know, slightly different things on the budget, and a slightly different layout. Uh, you're going to want to make your budget look like this, uh, other, or you can, you can flip these axes and put uh, this stuff down the side and put your months of the year across here if you want to, but all the information has to be there. Uh, you're going to need a total down here at the bottom with a thick box border around it. You're going to need uh, totals columns over here for essentials and discretionary spending. And uh, you'll also need all these columns bolded. So anything that's uh, like a total, in this case, total also needs to be bolded, um, it needs to have bold. Now I'm going to also walk you through how to do the auto sum on this. So each one of these needs to automatically add up. So we're going to hit the auto sum button here and just hit enter. And then we're going to click on our next cell, hit auto sum and enter. And now in this case it thinks maybe, hey, I want to be adding up these two. So I'm going to say no, I'm going to click up here and then I'm going to control, click, 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 Click all the ones that I want to add up, and boom, there we go. All right, I'm gonna auto sum this one now. It thinks I want to add these ones again, so no, I'm gonna click over here, and I can actually do a shortcut here if I want to. I, I can hit Control and click if I want to select individual ones, but if I want to select this whole range, uh, I just hold down the Shift key and click, and it selects everything for me. And that's actually the same thing you do if you were like highlighting a, a bunch of files or something. Trying to move them around. You can do the same thing with the control and the shift buttons. All right, so here we're going to click here. We're going to hit auto sum. Again, not what I, what, not what I want. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to click at the bottom of the range and then I'm going to hit enter. Go here again for auto sum. Click here. Shift. Click. Hit enter. We're good to go. And now our last one auto sum. Click up here at the top. Hold down shift, click here, and you're good to go. Okay, the last thing we need to do is set up these essentials and the discretionary. Uh, so we're going to need to put formulas in here that add up uh, our essentials, and I've highlighted my essentials so I know uh, what those are, and then also the discretionary. Essentials are things that, uh, those are like needs versus wants. We want to be entertained, we want new clothes, but we need medical, transportation, utilities, food, and a uh, roof over our head. Uh, and this helps you when you're saving money because uh, you can cut back on discretionary, but it's pretty hard to cut back on the essentials. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start with putting our equal sign in this box to let know that we want, let Excel know that we want that to equal something. And then we're going to enter our cells. So I'm going to start by clicking here on B2. I'm going to enter a plus sign. And then I bet I could hold down my shift key and select it range. No, it's not going to let me. All right, we got B2. Hold down the plus sign. We'll get this one also, C2. It's out of order, but it doesn't matter because we're adding. We'll get transportation also. And then we'll get medical okay so what i did there is i just held down the control click key clicked on each one of those put a plus sign in between them now i'm hitting enter all right and you're going to need to do the same thing here for discretionary you're going to need to put an equal sign in the box and then you're going to need to select there e2 in this case i'm going to put a plus sign and i'm going to click on close that's my g2 and then i hit enter and you're going to need to do that for each one of these uh rows here so that you get your essentials and your discretionary for each month broken out. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you a slight cheat for uh, this next one here. We can actually use the auto sum function. And uh, we'll click over here, and then we'll hit the shift key. And that'll move us over here. We hit uh, control and click there and there and hit enter. And that'll and we'll do the same thing here. Auto sum. We click here and here, and then hit enter, and that takes care of that for us. All right, we'll do the same thing down here. I'm going to click on auto sum. Now this time it thinks we want to do this this whole row here, and we don't. So we're just going to click here on rent. We'll hold down our shift key, go to utilities, control for transportation and medical, and then hit enter. We'll go over here. We'll do the same thing. Auto sum. 
here on entertainment, hold down control, click on close, and then hit enter. All right, guys, so it's going to be up to you to figure out how to do the uh, formatting, uh, but I've showed you how to do the uh, putting the formulas in here. Uh, you're not going to have to put in formulas for the rest of this. Uh, you know how, um, but you will have to put it in for this first three here and all these uh, along the bottom there also. Uh, so that's it for your performance task. Uh, good luck with it, and thanks for watching.